Good morning, people. Um, it's uh, first morning of the cruise afterwards. Um, so I've just woken up and I'm looking out. Um, it's uh, rather interesting out here, as you can see, out at sea. Um, waves are rather choppy and it is rather cold um, wow this is not what I expected you can see the sea is very very choppy um, and like I said it's rather cold um, so I'm going to be asking a question today um, that's something that crossed my mind and that is can a cruise ship survive a tsunami? Now, um, a tsunami is a huge wave normally um, created by underground seismic activities. So sort of like earthquakes on the ocean floor um, create depressions where water suddenly moves around and then heads to land. And... Um, Tsunamis have been known to reach, I don't know, 100 meters tall, so that's 330 feet tall, um, and travel at up to, I believe, 400 miles an hour. That's about the speed of a flying jet. Um, difficult to imagine, but um, the question is, could a cruise ship survive that? Um, I've seen some of the pictures or some of the videos of um, cruise ships, or rather ships in Japan um, during the tsunami. There are some on YouTube, um, but those are not actually cruise ships. They are sort of small pleasure craft and small yachts. Um, although there were some industrial type ships that were um, covered. Um, I'm just wondering, I mean, if this, uh, say, so uh, 100 meters is, is, is about um, 33 stories high. Um, this ship has 16 decks, so that would be twice the size, twice the height of this um, ship. So would it be able to survive an oncoming tsunami? I mean, it definitely wouldn't be able to outrun a tsunami. Um, is the ship designed to do that? Is it designed to pierce the waves of a tsunami? Would it rise with the, with the chop of the waves? Hmm, interesting. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your if you have any scientific marine knowledge of... Um, coming into contact with a tsunami out at sea do you think the ship would be able to let's let's pop outside and just capture the essence of this early morning wave did i lock the door oops what have i done okay wow so here we are Ooh. Wow. Hold on to my camera because of the wind, just to be on the safe side. But it's extremely windy. Just look at this. Once again, what do you think? Do you think a cruise ship would be able to survive an oncoming tsunami? Somehow I don't think it would. Nevertheless, it's a lovely day out here. It's going to be a lovely day. Um, just being on board, I'm going to go back inside. It's just absolutely freezing. Ooh, 
That is cold. And you can hear that noise. Can you hear that? Right, so. This was the place. I won't say this is where the magic happened because no magic happened. <laughs> but, yep, yeah, this is my cabin. And I am here. So, um, yeah. Let me just make my bed. Voila. And, yeah, so, um, yeah, leave comments in the section below. Tell me what you think. Um, I hope the weather is nice enough when we get to Marseille. Um, actually, not Marseille, we're going to Tudor. And um, we will be able to disembark and go on board. Um, but yeah, so far so good. First night I slept, I wouldn't say I slept like a baby because babies don't sleep very well. You know, they poop, they cry, they wake up, they pee, they need to eat. So I didn't sleep like a baby. I slept like a lamb. How was that? And in a few minutes time, I'm going to be getting up and going down. Um, well, I'm actually up already, so I will be heading down for breakfast. Um, I will take you with me for breakfast, if you'd like to come with me for breakfast. That'll be nice. Um, and let's see what we have for breakfast. So, until the next time, peace, one love, follow me on this cruise journey, and let's see what happens. Stay blessed.